Welcome back to the third OpenCV tutorial. In this video, we're just going to go through and add some track bars so that we can easily track bar sliders so that we can easily change the values that we hard coded in here before. So to do this, we're going to need to create some space above the for loop here. We'll create an array of characters using char track bar name. Let's go ahead and just set it up with 10 in case we want some more track bars later. We're going to need a new window that's going to show these track bars. So above that, I'll type named window. I'm going to call it select colors. And then it wants a second flag of we just set to zero. Now when track bars are called, um, each time the track bar is moved, it calls a function um, that's where something can be, some code can be executed. For us, we're not going to have any code executed, but we still need to create a dummy function. So up at the top, I'll create one, I'll call it void my track bar. I pass in an int and a void, which is it is expecting, even though it won't be used. So now down below, we can type out uh, sprint. Actually, before we do that, let's declare a couple of variables. Um, hmin equals zero and hmax equals 256. I also wanted to say, oh, these are integers. also wanted to say that on Wikipedia, there's a great page that talks about HSV and what it means. Uh, the HSV stands for hue saturation value. So create a couple of track bars down below now. Let's start by typing out sprintf track bar name comma minimum h hmin and here we go sprintf track bar name max h and we'll type in our variable h max the next uh, we'll actually create the track bar so create track bar min h in the window select colors to make sure that matches the named window text here and then by reference, we'll pass the minimum value, hmin. We'll pass hmax and the dummy function, my trackbar. We'll do that again. Second trackbar for max h. In the same window, select colors. This time we'll pass in by reference uh, hmax and then the, val the variable hmax and my trackbar again. So now we want to pass these variables. So when the sliders are moved, we want the, the values to change for h. So I'll take this minimum h value of 10 here that's hard coded and I'll change it to hmin. Then I'll take the maximum value that's hard coded to 110 and I'll change it to hmax. And we'll see what happens when we run this. And as expected, we have a threshold image, we have our regular image, and then a couple of sliders. And if I move the minimum h slider to the right, you can see it starts filtering out some of the colors. Or I can take the max and I can move that down 
And likewise, when you bring it down to the low enough value, it filters out the colors. So now we could go through and we could add another four of these for the S value, min and max, and the V, min and max. I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer. That's it for this time.